Okay, today I want to talk about troubleshooting the UV lights. If you've known me and you watch a lot of my videos on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, please subscribe by the way, shameless plug. You know that I believe that a good UV light is basically like an ATM machine because you're going in doing the walkthrough, you're locating the urine in other spots, it looks very professional and customers will spend the money for what they can see. Generally, they don't like to spend for what they can't see. So you can find the urine quickly. The problem is every once in a while, sometimes the lights will fail or there might be a problem that arises. What do you do? Well, you need to troubleshoot it. So I'm gonna show you right now what our V3, V4, and also our big boy light. So go ahead now, and as I go ahead and show you now, the number one thing that happens probably is people get moisture around it. Try to keep it up in your cab, keep it in its holster or something like that, keep it in a dry area or bring it inside. I'm gonna show you right now exactly what happens. Notice on my hand here, you see that ring? Okay, that ring means that moisture got to it and it's only working at 25%. Whereas compared to here, look how you have the full beam. All right, of course this one's got three settings. But the point is, when it, you just have that ring right there, that means moisture got to it and it's damaged. So what do you have to do? Well, you just replace the LED. We can send it out to you. You're gonna need a set of ring pliers like this right here to be able to do it with. Or you can mail it to us and we'll do it for you either way. The other thing that can happen is your batteries can fail. The number one thing you can do to make sure you get the longest life out of the battery is completely charge it before the first use. Okay, if you do that, more than likely you're not gonna have any issues. Let it charge all the way down and, or die down basically after that and charge it right back up. But don't let it die completely if you can avoid it. The same thing with the V4 and also some, with the big bad boy light also. And of course, you want to make sure that your chargers are working properly. Notice I got my little charger station going on here. That's important. Now, the, the third thing that can happen is your switch can go bad. All right. You notice you can hear that right there and hear it clicking. And generally, the switch doesn't even go bad. You can take something and you can scrape this end or you can scrape the end of the battery and make sure they're getting a good connection. Maybe just a little bit of sandpaper or just the end of an ice pick or something. You can take an ice pick, go like this, scrape it up scrape it up and of course i've even had some people leave the cellophane on their battery and they can't figure out why their uv light's not working really take that take that off of there okay all right so that covers the switch uh whoa well, yeah one more thing about the switch sometimes you notice the little ring pliers will fit in there this comes loose so it's not making a good connection so all you have to do is take this little set of ring pliers and just tighten this up a bit and that'll generally solve your problem so let's go over it one more time number one moisture getting to it, okay? And you'll see a little ring like that. You won't see a full beam. That means you're getting 25% of your power. You're gonna to have to go ahead and replace your LED. Uh, number two is your battery could be dead. You didn't charge it properly or it's just a bad battery, all right? Uh, number three would be your switch. Your switch, of course, could be loose or it could be defective. We carry all these parts in stock because I'm a big believer in, we're in a race against downtime. Downtime's a killer and it costs you a lot of money. Uh, and now, a lot of people have asked, hey, Rob, what's your favorite out of the three? Well, I personally like to use the V4. Why is that? Because I never have to take the batteries out, all right? So that's less moving parts, less problems are going to happen. Don't have to worry about taking off the switch. I don't have to worry about taking the battery out. I don't have to worry about the threads, nothing like that, because you can charge it on the fly with your USB right inside your van, and that way it's never down on you, because a lot of guys might leave their charger at home they get to a house and it's dead and they can't do through a walkthrough and there's a bunch of urine in the house. What are you gonna do? So by having this right here, I can do it on the fly. One last tip I'd like to mention is I like to put the lanyard on there and write our phone number and name in there because leaving this behind is costly and a lot of times customers won't give it back to you. Well, I'm Rob Allen with Truck Mount Forms. Hope you enjoyed this video of how to go ahead and make sure your UV light or your ATM machine is making you a max amount of money. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Facebook. Follow us on the groups. Follow us on the forum. Take care and have a great day.